It's been 20 years now since Mahindra first launched the Scorpio and well, over the past two decades, I can't really think of another SUV and I mean SUV, not crossover, that has gained the kind of cult following that the Scorpio has or enjoyed the kind of success as this one. And now, for 2022, we have an all-new Scorpio that's gone on sale and well, this one's been in the making for a while thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. But finally, it's hitting the roads, it's been launched, it's on sale and it's now time to tell you what this one is like to drive on the road and off it too. We've always known the Scorpio to be a very butch looking SUV and commands serious road presence. And this new one, I'm happy to report, really takes that game forward as it looks properly butch, is massive in fact, and has a lot of road presence. One that really has had a lot of people turn their heads around to take a second look at this one today. It's the towering stance that grabs your attention first, besides the boxy silhouette that we all love about hardcore, old school SUVs. The front end looks unmistakably Scorpio, despite the sleeker headlamp design and the new grille, which also houses Mahindra's new Twin Peaks logo. Attention to detail is very impressive, something confirmed by the shape of the fog lamps and DRLs that are shaped to look like a Scorpion sting. 18-inch wheels add muscle to the sides and in fact the Scorpio N looks quite imposing from the sides given its size. And yes, you do have the roof rails that add to the Scorpio N's appeal from the sides as well. The glass pane for the third row also has a chrome lining that's styled to look like a Scorpion sting, making for an interesting detail. The tail lamp design reminds of Volvo's SUVs, especially the XC60 and also houses dynamic turn indicators for a more upmarket feel. And while the Scorpio N is quite wide, the tall stance of the rear end makes it look narrower than it is. Overall, the Scorpio N is quite a looker though and is certainly the best looking Scorpio yet. The cabin of the new Scorpio also feels a lot more premium and in fact, it almost looks and feels like one that belongs to an SUV from a higher segment. I've got a lovely looking instrument cluster in front of me with a 7-inch color display and 8-inch touchscreen for the infotainment system that's loaded with features. A sunroof that's not a panoramic sunroof but this is the widest one in the segment and yes, it really adds to the sense of airiness to the cabin but most importantly, like I said, this cabin really feels a lot more premium. The dashboard reminds of old school SUVs with its boxy design and I'm glad Mahindra has not made it all curvy like new age cars. Its design adds to the cabin's charm, especially with the grab handles on the A-pillar for the driver and front passenger both. The central rib of the dash is covered in soft touch plastic on the passenger side and while the rest of the dashboard uses hard plastics, overall quality and fit finish levels are a lot more premium now. I'm also glad Mahindra has retained physical buttons and rotors for the air conditioning system while an array of switches sit below them and look quite sporty. The seating position is very commanding as you would expect and you sit tall with an excellent view while the steering wheel is positioned at a good angle too. The second row seat is wide, comfortable and supportive and can seat three people with ease, something that should appeal to family SUV buyers. Access to the third row is easy thanks to the split second row seat but more importantly, the Scorpio N's third row is spacious for adults too, though one glaring omission is the lack of a dedicated air conditioning vent for the third row. Mahindra has also gone to town with the feature list and the smart-looking 7-inch instrument cluster display packs in more information than SUVs costing twice as much. The Scorpio N also features connected technology via the Adreno X Connect smartphone app that lets you start the engine and turn air conditioning on remotely Besides which, you also get Amazon Alexa connectivity with what three words for navigation. In fact, Mahindra tells us the Scorpio N is equipped with over 70 connected features. You also get wireless charging and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity besides a 12-speaker Sony Music system. The Scorpio N does not get an auto-dimming inside rear view mirror or ventilated seats though, a feature that's becoming increasingly common now. Now one of the distinct highlights about the XUV700 that was launched last year were its brilliant powertrains. And the good news is that the new Scorpio is powered by the same petrol and diesel engines. So the petrol engine is a 203 PS motor, while the diesel on the other hand is on offer in two states of tune, the lower one offering 132 PS, which in itself is a lot, while the higher state of tune is 175 PS output. And that really helps the Scorpio 
drive very impressively on the road and off it too. We only drove the diesel automatic version and again, the motor impresses with its excellent refinement and low NVH levels besides the responsive feel. This is the same 2.2 litre engine we've seen in the XUV700 and the Scorpio N also gets the same zip, zap and zoom driving modes which alter the power delivery and throttle responses. In fact, with this kind of refinement and power delivery, the Scorpio N's 2.2 litre engine feels more responsive than the diesel engines in SUVs a segment above it and makes driving the Scorpio a delight. Unlike the Mhawk engine, this new engine also feels quicker to rev which adds to its impressive manners. Gear changes from the 6-speed automatic transmission are quick and smooth and also do their bit in adding to the driving experience. Like before, the Scorpio continues to use a ladder frame, but this is an all-new chassis and along with the all-new Pentalink suspension that also has frequency-selective damping, the Scorpio promises to offer excellent ride quality while also being a better handler. Mahindra tells us a lot of effort has gone into fine-tuning the Scorpio N's chassis and suspension setup and after a full day of driving it on highways, country roads and off-road too, I can tell you, this one really does impress with its road manners. That said, body roll is pronounced around fast corners, but yes, the Scorpio N is certainly a far better handler than its predecessor. That's also courtesy the lighter overall weight and lower unsprung mass, besides the improved torsional rigidity. The frequency selective damping helps in improving the ride quality as well and overall, the Scorpio N has a far better balance between ride and handling than the previous generation Scorpio. The Scorpio has also always been an impressive off-roader and the new Scorpio N takes that game forward with its kind of ground clearance, suspension setup and of course, the newfound prowess. The Scorpio N gets a dedicated 4x4 version that's called the 4 Explore that's equipped with 4 high and 4 low modes and various terrain modes as well, which you can change via the rotor on the center console. Besides driving the Scorpio N on trails, we also drove it on a special off-road course set up by Mahindra Adventure to let us experience the Scorpio N's abilities off-road and it impressed immensely, taking everything in its stride, be it coming down steep slopes or going through the articulation pits. It has been quite a day with this new Scorpio, driving it on-road and off-road both and I can confirm that not only is this new Scorpio a massive improvement over the previous version, it also feels like the segment disruptor that Mahindra claims it to be. It's brilliant in terms of comfort and space both, is loaded with features and technology and is powered by a pair of engines that truly impress in terms of refinement and performance both. Prices for the new Scorpio begin from 11.99 lakh X showroom and that, in my opinion, is a brilliant starting point given everything that this SUV brings to the table. Well, above all else, this really feels like a product that can take the game forward for the Scorpio as a truly butch, proper Indian SUV.